Okay, so what else is different? What else is different? Uh, I would say um, my confidence is better. Um, I would say that I'm a veteran now. Um, I'm a sophomore, so I have been through kind of the fire a little bit um, in terms of understanding the culture that has been built here at Louisville. Uh, I would say that I am I'm one to count on with these girls and um, I'm helping them to understand that I'm here for them. That's what's different. Uh, my shot is different. My free throws are different. Um, my finishing touch, even though it was very good last year, it's even better this year. So, um, yeah. That's what's different about me. Well, how would you describe that culture here at Louisville? Yeah, um, so I would just say our culture is uh, very hungry. You you have to be willing to go through the fire here at Louisville, right? Um, we like to press up. We like to get in people's faces. We like to apply pressure. Um, so that's really what we're trying to get the rest of these transfers and girls to understand is when we play defense, we play it up tight. And I'm working on making sure that as a leader that I'm sticking to my word as well so I can show them what the culture is like. Um, Coach Walls has built a great culture. I'm pretty sure you already know that. Um, a winning culture. And we're just trying to keep that up going. Um, like he's probably told everyone else, this team is a, going to be a little slow start um, before we get on our feet. But when we get on our feet, we're going to be unstoppable. Um, so, yeah, I think the culture here is very – is very respected. Why do you think you're going to have a slow start? Um, I would say because we're just a new team, right? Um, we we have new pieces. We play together, of course. I agree with that. But um, one thing about it, <laughs> um, Sosa, stop. Um, one thing about it is I think that it's important for us to understand that we have to under, we have to be able to go through the fire. You have to be able to understand that. So, Tito, shut up. Why are you over here? Because she's being so loud. Um, I think that it's very important that we have to be able to go through the fire, like I said. Um, Coach Walls makes sure that we have to understand, like, it's we're a new team, like I said. We're going to be new. We're going to be able to be through situations where we've been through them before, but we have to know, okay, what exactly are we going to do in order to get out of the situation? So I think that's what's, what, I, what I mean when I say a little bit of a slow start. It's just we're not a veteran team. We haven't played for six or seven years together or four or five years. We're brand new. We've had six new players come in, and we have one year to, you know, get it together and play. Um, so, yes, we played Canada basketball and – was able to do that, but I think also it's just experience. So playing, I would say playing a couple of games, first four, and then after that we'll be able to get it going. What do you, what do you, what do you say about having to step into that leadership role mm -hmm. this year? And you know, because there's no quote unquote, you don't have the the, the high percentage scores that you that you had before. What's it like being the leader? and having to guide everybody when there's so many new players on the team? Uh, yeah, so like I said um, to the other reporters that uh, I didn't have that much of a turnaround time to, you know, learn the role. I learned the role very quick. Um, this year for me, being a leader means I have to be consistent and I have to be able to stick to my word. That's just the biggest thing about leadership is if I correct my teammates or try to help them with something, I have to be able to hold up to that in order for them to learn from me. Um, leader, leader. There's a lot of leaders on this team, and everyone does the role very well. Um, but this year for me, like I said, I'm a veteran. I'm considered a veteran now, so I have to be able to lead the way for these girls because this is again their first year. This is my second. This is O's fifth. I mean fourth, and this is Riss's fourth. So we all have been through some type of fire to help these girls when the fire does arise. That we can help them to understand it's okay. We're good just to stick together and, and be one unit. What have you added to your game over the summer? Oh, uh, ball handling, I would say. I've worked on my ball handling, um, my 15-footer shot. My free throws have gotten better. Just my shot overall has gotten better. Um, my finishing around the basket has gotten better. Um, I've made sure that um, I'm being more present on defense. Um, I don't think I wouldn't say I wasn't present on defense last year, but this year 
just being able to be confident in my defense and understanding positioning and how I should play certain players. I have to just understand that a little bit quicker this year because, you know, like I said, I've been here last year. So um, that's really what I've added to my game and being a leader, like I said. <laughs> go to the average level or go to that team's level. We got to stick to the level that we have been have, have been a part of since this culture. So, um, yeah, I would say it was a very exciting time. Um, we're going to be playing some good teams, UConn, Ole Miss, more, more and more teams. I, I feel like every team, every game is serious. Okay, we're not we're not gonna like say oh this team is oh uh, so we're just gonna go and you know we gotta play to our level and stay to our level. So, yeah. How much was that showing in Canada for not only the returners but the newcomers? How much was that just big for confidence to show? You know when you play at a high level, good things can happen with this. Yeah, group. no, it was so much fun. Um, it was important for us to understand that. We, 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 like I told them, I said that we, we had a quick turnaround, right? We had, we had to get this thing to go because we literally play next week on Monday, um, and it came so fast. Um, but I would, I will say that we have done a very good job of making sure our chemistry is good on and off the court. Um, we make sure that we hang out with each other. We make sure that we get, we count on each other, text each other, whatever we need. Um, and then when it gets to on the court, we know we're gonna be going through some tough battles, and we have to understand that we can come together, we can count on each other, and that's when me, O, uh, Riss, and uh, Lex come into play because we are veterans and we've been through the hard situations, everything. So um, Canada really helped us to understand that um, we have to have better chemistry and um, to see where we need to get better at in basketball. So. How hungry is this team? Uh, just, I guess, do you feel you have anything yeah, except the pro? Um, yeah, well, one, yes, we do. Uh, we went to the Elite Eight last year, and we were ranked 15 in the country. Like, it's just things like that. But, again, I must say that rankings don't matter because – they have all these pre-rankings, all this stuff, but teams haven't even played a real conference yet, um, schedule yet. So I would say that for us, we are hungry. I must say that, but we are also a new team. So we're still helping the other ones understand the culture that has been built. Um, but I will say these girls are hungry and they're, they're ready to prove to the country and to this Louisville community that this is another great team that's coming back. Um, like Coach Walls probably has told you guys, it's going to be a slow start. Um, he told the boosters as well, it's going to be a little slow before we can get on our feet and, and get going. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to admit to that. It's true. Um, just again, because we're a new team. So, yeah. That's all I needed. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. I'm Dominic. Nice to meet you. Nyla. You mentioned the word culture. Prior to coming here, when you were deciding where to go to college, what about the Louisville culture helped make the decision for you to come here? Yeah, um, so what's crazy is I didn't really know about Louisville. Like, I, I knew about them. I knew that they were winning, but I didn't really know into the team like that um, until I watched them in the Final Four when they played South Carolina. Um, that was actually after, I, was, I think it was after I committed, but before I committed, I heard about them here and there. Um, I, when my high school coach told me, he said, this is a big time program that you're getting an offer from. I really want you to look into them. So I started looking at them. I looked at uh, when Dana Evans was playing, when Angel McCautry was playing, Maisha Hines, all of them. And I was watching their style of play and I was like, that's, that's how I play. Uh, getting up and down the floor, tough defense, um, fast pace. I'm a very fast pace player. Um, I like to get out and run in transition. I like to play defense. I like to rebound. All the dirty work stuff. And, and Coach Walls makes sure that, that that's that's what wins games. Defense is what wins games. Big rebounds is what, what wins games. Offense does win games as well, but it really comes down to the defensive end. So, yeah. Of course.